I made a couple graphs to more easily display the results of these tests. This graph shows how much, in percent, each pellet's head expanded after being shot into the simulated flesh target. This would show approximately how much expansion you would get in an animal if it stayed within the target. Pause here if you want to take a closer look because everyone else is moving on. This graph shows how much penetration each pellet got in the block. Shown in inches, you can see how far every one traveled. The red bars indicate that there was a secondary, smaller piece of the pellet that got stopped earlier than the main body. Pause here if you want also. As far as transferring energy, I'd have to give first place to the RWS Meisterkugeln. Although I wouldn't use it for hunting, it packs a real punch to the ballistics gel. Second would be the JSB Predator in my book, because of its quick expansion and continuous cavity, as well as short penetration. Next would be the RWS Superpoint Extra, with its unexpected but massive cavity pattern. Then the gigantic H&N Rabbit Magnum II, then the RWS Super H-Point, Gamo Raptor, Crossman Premier, JSB Diabolo Exact Jumbo, and finally the killer penetrator, the H&N Runkugeln. Unfortunately, the lighting for the tests wasn't optimal. I had two industrial work lights behind the block in hopes that the pellets would be more visible, but it wasn't the best method. Stay tuned for more high-speed ballistics tests, and maybe eventually I'll get the lighting right.